All right, guys, welcome back to another Synodic, Synodica video. Oh my goodness, I don't know what happened to my voice. Let's get into it. Enzyme 42 project data. According to the translated da data logs, an indigenous Leviathan species were found to produce a unique substance referred to Enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the corral bacterial infection and other indigenous organisms. Uh, inhibited. Inhibited. Blah, blah, blah. The specimen was captured and contained in purpose-built habitat for further study. The alien researchers went to Great Lakes to provide the life forms environmental needs, including one of the independent flora and fauna via an on-site work gate. However, its health quickly deteriorated. When quarantine was opposed on all work gates and force fields were sealed, all attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine has been unsuccessful. All right. Yeah, 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 whatever. Alright, I do want to check these rooms, but I want to check the room right behind us. I remember now. Move out of the way. Uh, nothing I need to scan. Oh. Look here. Preserved fetus. Sea Emperor Fetus. Found preserved in this play case, it was likely a child of the adult specimen. So they were experimenting on their children. Physiology. Super, uh, superficial blah, blah, blah. damage to specimen indicate it was artificial, artificially removed from its egg cas casing. <clears throat> Stunted tissue development suggests the organism expired during the removal process. Tissue samples have been taken from the di digestive tract. It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in the specimen digestive system. Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. Look at their face. It looks so sad. Poor little baby just got killed. Alright. Uh, nothing right here. N uh, nothing over there, right? Alright, that's it. No, I'm kidding. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Preserved, uh, I mean, Sea Emperor egg casing. Shell composition. Shell is formed from thick layers of carbon co composite, suggesting extensive gen gen uh, station period. God, I can't speak. This Leviathan species may give birth just once per century. Wow. Perhaps just once in their lifetimes. Shell casing incisions. Precise incisions suggest a laser-based tool was used to cut open the egg ca casing and forcefully remove the fetus inside prior to full genesis. Time pressure to develop a bac bacterial vaccine may drive... Driven the alien researchers to cut open the egg and remove the fetus for study. It is possible that removed from its parent and natural habitat, some vital condition for the infant to hatch naturally was not meant. I am slurring my words like a madman. Do not trust what I say. I am not a good source of information. What can I say? Alright. Let's, uh, alright, now we're gonna scan these again. No, I'm okay. Where am I going? Oh wow, yeah. This room appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. All right, so that's the exploding fish, I believe. All right, so that's how they look in different forms. Uh, another fish egg. Is it open either? Hmm. Another egg. Another egg. Sea Emperor Leviathan Research data. Specimen size categories have been adjusted upwards to accommodate this species. Feeding digestion. Alien research data includes that despite its size, the species feeds entirely on microorganisms it filters from the water, which themselves to depend on complicated ecosystem of plant and animal life. Reproduction. Large over ovary-like organs are carried in the creature middle section, suggesting uh, that like other species on this planet, it produces eggs. However, internal scar tissue indicates probable infertility. 
The Emperor manufactures Enzyme 42 within its stomach cavity to break down the food, food and occasionally expel it to the surrounding waters. This substance were found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium and present its ecosystem aid. Today we'll explain how the life on this planet survived the outbreak. It will, it would remain to be explained by what a mechanism the enzyme is being delivered. Oh my god, I'm not speaking. Health. Comparative analysis of the size and meta medic mm, metabiolic rate indicates the specimen is captured by the researchers uh, were approximately 1,600 years old. The extensive internal and external scar tissue suggests it has lived well in the ac access of the peak lifespan for its species. Assessment. While a healthy emperor specimen may have held some potential as a cure, isn't likely any research subject survived the quarantine procedures. Oh, wow. So, maybe no city emperors at all. More eggs. There's a big egg out there. Oh. <clears throat> Nothing to scan. Egg. Egg up there. Man, some of these are like super thick. Hello. Um, <clears throat> a lot of these are just like, the same type of eggs, in different periods, of course. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me cough into the mic even more. I'm kidding. Or am I? Don't worry, we'll soon get to the big part of the game. I just want to go through... Uh... Oh, I thought there was a blue tablet on the floor or something. Give me... I. Uh... No. Open storage. Give me all these. Alright, let's go to the... Let's go in it with the prawn suit. Let's see where it takes us. We're on the ocean. It'd be cool if it would take us right to base. This brings us to the Lost River. Lost River. An area, area that I haven't actually uh, explored. But there isn't really anything here. It's just part of the Lost River in a different section. Uh, which I was tempted in this one episode to go here. But there's really nothing there. But after we're done with this place. So let's go back through the portal. And then check if there's anything on the other side. Or next time I record. I'll go check if there's anything. <clears throat> like before I record. Woo! Wait, I didn't even explore anything in the middle room, did I? Alright, so the middle room is the eggs and stuff like that. And then there was a portal that we just checked. And this is the other portal on the other side. Got it. So let's see what's on this side, where it takes us. <clears throat> right next to the base, please. It'd be so cool. This takes us on the island. Underneath one of the islands. I think the... F I don't know what island actually takes us. I'm not uh, trying to explore it in this episode. But it takes us one to one of the islands. Very cool. I think it takes us to the one that's like... Uh doesn't have like you know those people that lived on the island i think this is the island that nobody lived on if that makes sense i don't even know if it makes sense i don't even know what i'm saying i'm insane i do think we need to get some more uh these ion cubes ion cube give me more Very cool. I don't know why there's black squares, but you know, you know. Alright, 
All right, game. I will listen to your rules and use these ramps. I guess. I guess. Get down here. All right. Put the other ion cube, and then we check that m middle room to see what what uh what more lore do we have? What more lore do we have? Yes, please. Where does this take us? Alright, so we have both the islands, basically. Yeah. Oh, no. I think this is the island where it's behind the aura. No, that would be the other island. God. I don't know my directions, do I? That's fine. Hallie oop. Scratch my nose. This way. Oh. Bunch of blue things, some coral. Bunch of pipes. Uh more coral and stuff. Outflow pipe. Enzyme host peeper leaving the containment. Yeah. Um, enzyme host peepers leaving the containment facility. And outflow pipes are filled with peepers traveling backwards towards the surface. Specimens show no symptoms of infection. Uh, they're carrying enzyme 42. S specimens stomach cavities are otherwise empty, suggesting they may have purged the contents before entering the pipes. Assessment. If peepers have evolved to distribute the enzyme via the pipe network, this may explain part of the me mechanisms which life... Uh, on 4546 B has survived since the back the outbreak So the peepers are the ones that just carry that's why we're seeing those orange peeper through the playthrough is because these are affected by enzyme 42 so they uh, I mean they have enzyme 42 on them that make them glow a little bit so that they don't have to worry about getting infected anymore with the green blisters and stuff the pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled with peepers arriving on the surface Entering the condemn. The fish shows no sign of distress. The specimens scan that all consumed high quantities of seeds and organic matter from the surface. Some specimens are beginning to show light signs of uh, infection. Huh? Oh, I did not mean to fall. Ouch. Goodbye, people. I did not mean to go down at all. I just want to look. Curiosity killed the cat. We all know. All right, let's get this last piece of lore. Check on the two other portals and then be done with it. <clears throat> Integrating new PDA data. Welcome aboard, Captain. Water flowing to and in from the primary containment facility is being automatically controlled independently on other safeguards. Data on the water composition have been recorded. Inflow. The water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than a volcanic environment outside the facility. While microorganisms and nutrient counts are sustainably higher. Uh, outflow. Oxygen de deprived water is being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. So water coming in is uh, has oxygen. The peepers are infected. They're coming in. Hello, robot. Did we go through this one? No. They're infected. They're going in, and the water has oxygen, some nutri uh, nutrients as well and stuff. I'm guessing. And then when the water leaves, it's deprived of oxygen, and the peepers are healthy again. I go in the prawn suit while going through these portals because I don't know what could be on the other side. The portal could open up and I could be in death sentence. Just five reapers are just like, what are you doing? What are you doing, my friend? Huh? Where are we? Wait, are we right next to the base? No. Yeah. 
Excuse me. Oh, we're in the that biome. Very cool. We definitely need to mark wherever this is or whatever. So yeah, this portal takes us uh, actually close to base because it's the mushroom tree forest, basically. I was confused for a moment. Why am I so tall? Oh, I'm standing on top of the thing that wants ion cubes to go through. Ooh. So we already went through the middle. And then on this one, we already went through, right? Yep. All right. Then I think the last thing we should do. No. Is get through this already. I have a blue tablet. I have my blue iPad. Drink to cel celebrate. I have to go down these stairs. All right, you guys ready? Oh. We are curious. Hey, I'm not losing any oxygen. The fishes, they ain't scared. The fishes are scared a little bit, maybe. All right, so, whoa. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. Passive. Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton-like life form, which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Wow, this uh, room is like very blue and green and kind of blurry. She sat down. Hatching enzymes. The emperor specimen eggs are attached to some sort of implicate. Incubator in the normal life cycle it seemed like likely sea uppers would bury their eggs in shadow of the waters, where different or organic materials and soft serve would trigger a hatching response. The incubator suggests the aliens have resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes that would stimulate the eggs' natural hatching environment, but unable to discover the formula. With extensive formation on the sea emperors themselves, it may be possible for to fabricate an official hatching enzyme. Artificial hatching enzyme to ingenious species. However, the only source of that information is sea of bird itself. Let's put the in I don't Oh god the MR Hold on Hold on My bad, my bad, I know you were waiting, I know you were waiting. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, I didn't know I needed an enzyme. I mean some ion cubes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on.
It's going crazy. How do I get it? How do I get out? There we go. I'm gonna stay right here. All right. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm here. You can sit back down again. I know you were very disappointed. So the creatures down here are very peaceful. I see. What she got? What was that? Enzyme, blah blah blah, coming out. We well, see her sit down again. All right, I do it. Interesting. My young need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. That's pretty cool. There's a big, big lady. Can I scan you? I need... I need to just grab all the ion cubes. I knew I needed one more. Oh. Hold on. Where are you going? Peeper. Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear at this time. While other creatures uh, encountered within the facility are isolated within it, peepers appear to be coming and going in their own record via the alien pipe network. On arrival, peepers are uh, approaching the sea emperor. Peepers are approaching the sea emperor. Peepers exhibit a natural affinity for the stomach enzymes being expelled by the emperor. Peepers which have come to contact with the enzymes are returned to the pipe network. Analysis: This behavior must be the source of enzyme 42 on 4546B, or the area therefore which support life. It is likely also responsible for the survival of the Emperor and the other life forms contained within the facility. She's going crazy. I see him. Funk. Alright, sorry that I just took t way too long. With the passage you've opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Oh! New blueprint inside. Uh, evidence suggests this is an answer number, if not all local species produced through the egg laying, egg laying, could be resistant on C4 bearing. Hello. Different species. Did we already read this? Some require enzymes to start the process. Impossible to calculate the species eggs, blah, blah, blah. Natural. The sea emperor's lifestyle. Available biolog biological data have been used to synthesize the effects of alien bacterium on the sea emperor's natural lifestyle. The creature likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming coming to the surface to feed off huge volume microorganisms in the shower their waters. Waters. Family size would uh, would be strictly limited limited by variable food supply. Offspring would likely split off the young age to form their own herd somewhere else. Given their sparse propagation, mating and egg laying were likely infrequent, perhaps once in a lifetime event. The species likely had preferred environment for egg laying and 
fact, successful hatching may depend on such condi conditions. Given the rarity of this event, it's possible I calculate those conditions precisely. There's no evidence to support the assumption that all members of the species are immune from the alien bacteria. Even if that this is so, there is evidence that introduced the bacteria decimated life on the planet, and this would have catastrophic effects on the Emperor's food supply and survival rate. The spotic relationship between the specimen and the other life forms likely have developed as a direct result of the bacterial infection. These life forms, which learned to help to keep, which learned uh, to keep the emperor uh, alive, survived with itself. This may explain the vast stretch of lifeless ocean and rough the meteor around the emperor's location. Okay. Oh. Uh, hatching enzymes. Eye stalk, fungal sample, ghost breed. Alright, so... Eye stalk, sea crown. We have sea crown at base. Fungal example. Bush bulb. I think we have all this at base. Alright, goodbye the emperor. You are very vast indeed. Very mighty. I wanted to see if I could scan her, but I can't. Goodbye, my friend. Now, now. Uh, sorry for me messing up my words like crazy. That's just who I am, basically. And I suck speaking. Uh. Dang it. She ain't looking too good as well. She's like painting, just pan pan panting, whatever. Hopefully she is okay. Alright, I want to see if I can get up there. I couldn't. Alright, so I'm going to end the episode here. So now what we know we need to do is get the... What is it called? Hatching enzymes. Yay! Organic substance derived from plants and found at Emperor's natural breeding grounds is designed to trigger a hatching response and then hatch those eggs. So, basically, to give you a rundown to the lore, the sea emperors, the aliens wanted the sea emperors to de develop, you know, they wanted to use the sea emperors for a uh, cure to the infection, of which this, the, this sea emperor, this lady, she wanted to, uh, the creature. Wanted to let them know, like, just let me be free with my kids, and then I'll just give you uh, my secrets and whatever. But some for some reason, uh, they could not understand her or just couldn't get her telepathic talking, whatever. So, um, with that, uh, so this whole time after they died, she's just still sitting here with her kids staying alive so eventually maybe one day she'll be able to get out or something or anything like that and while this is happening these peepers are coming in uh infected and then they get this enzyme from her stomach uh, which she like uh poos out or something like that the peepers get the enzyme 42 grabs the enzyme 42 gets cured and then spreads it amongst uh outside the facility through more pipes and then that's why in some areas we were seeing vents across the map. Because those are the peepers going, coming in and going out at the same time. And also those pipes are what's keeping her water like very oxygenated and full of life and full of stuff that she needs to survive. So, um, oh yeah, and then they try to forcefully, like, she, they killed one of her eggs, try to forcefully incubate them, do all these things, try to find a cure. And they didn't find a cure. And, uh, you see, guys, it's a life lesson. Which, that lesson, I don't know. <laughs> don't kill people's kids. I guess, I guess that's pretty good. Pretty good life lesson. But, yeah, so now we have the hatching enzymes. And then once we have the hatching enzymes, we can go down there, hatch your children. And then that's basically, like, the, almost, or is, the end of the game. My young need to hatch to play outside this place. We have been here so long. Uh, they could not hear me. Yep, like I was talking about. Sports device and healthy system. Patching. They can leave this, but you must 
do the hatching enzymes. Very cool. Advanced theories. But yeah, that's in the end of the episode. We uh, did not have to use these orange tablets, apparently. But yeah, you guys have a good day, and uh, peace out. Bye-bye.